everyone, it's Donnie, and I'm back with a review. As you um, noticed, if you watched my unboxing video, I have several shops to do reviews on. This first one is a Logan store off of AliExpress. And I thought I had it open to that page, but apparently I don't. Okay, here we go. I have two paintings here. I'll show you the pictures here. There's one, and here's a larger version of it. And then here's the other one. Uh, kind of hard to see with the glare, so here's the bigger version of that one. Now, let's... Um, check out these uh, canvases because if you didn't see the unboxing this is how my box came it was wet and um, of course Tessa helped me open it so she kind of mangled the um, tip of it but yeah it's still a bit damp from uh, what whatever happened um, there was a leak in the uh, plastic. There was a hole in the plastic that it came in. But the damp part was um, past the tip here. However, the uh, tools did have moisture on them still. You can't see it anymore because it's dried out. But it was on, if you look at the uh, unboxing, I show you the tools that had, the, it had moisture on them. Everything else has been completely covered in plastic, the tools and the drills. So nothing was damaged as far as that goes. I still have to look at these um, canvases to make sure, but they, from what I can see here, they don't look like they, the wetness had any effect. The wetness on the box didn't have any effect on the canvases. So we will find out. First of all, let me um, go over the tools. This looks like a really nice tool set. I mean, they are actually individually packaged um, with the Ziploc container. They have the small boats. They have a large square of wax in there. It extends all the way over. It has several baggies in there. Um, they each have a drill pin with the six placer on them and they have the lesser quality of uh, tweezers. And if you're wondering, I can say from my experience and from everybody else's videos of unboxing um, diamond paintings, the tweezers will only come in square paintings. They do not come in round paintings. And if you've ever tried to pick up a pair, um, pick up a round diamond with the tweezers, you'll know why. <laughs> they, the, they were not meant to be picked up with tweezers. It's, it's possible, but you don't have much control over it like you do with the squares. Okay, so good tools. Now let's look at the canvases. I'm really anxious to find out how that water affected or didn't affect them. And no Tesla in this video because she's in bed. This is my quiet time. It's late. Everybody else in the house is asleep. I've got my door shut to my craft room and the windows closed. I just have my own diamond painting Nirvana in here. All right. Now, some of you, I just, I just um, assumed everybody knew why I do what I do when I unbox these. But for those of you that this is, say, your first, um, your very first video you're watching, I will explain what to do to get these curled up canvases flat. Now... I actually learned this method from a viewer, from a subscriber. I, I don't know if she subscribes. I'm, sure, I'm pretty sure she does because I see her on here a lot. But she actually suggested it to me. 
and I was using a different method before where you just rub it on the edge of the table or you roll it backwards and that was causing creases so I tried the way she suggested and sure enough it is magic because you can see how this just is not sitting still and I don't want to have to put it under books take up the space to do that in order just to store this because I'm not going to be able to get to this right now with all the other projects I'm doing okay this is a 40 by 50 and it has uh, I don't think it says how many colors on here they're not numbered so um, it's numbered on here. I'll tell you how many colors it is once I get to the diamond point portion. Now this, the one thing I've, I'm seeing that I do not like is this is not split, this canvas um, cover. It's all in one piece, which makes it a little harder to um, check the canvas, but I will make it work. All right, so I'm just gonna lift it up here. I'm gonna show you the symbols, first of all, because that's important to know if um, how clear they are, if whether you're not whether or not you want to order from this company. Those are all F's, which I'm guessing are going to be three tens, and you can see pretty clearly that it's really dark in this area. But the light pad, with a light pad, that won't be a problem. Okay, so in order to get this from curling, I'm gonna have to pull back the entire bottom portion. There's a lot of wrinkles on here, but they're not quite bubbled. So that's good. I'm gonna start doing post, post reviews. So after it's done, that way you'll know for sure at the end how it worked out okay so this is the bottom of the painting as you can see there's mickey the reflection of mickey with the rainbow there's just some slight wrinkling because the canvas was rolled but other than that it looks really good i don't see any bubbles it's very sticky now i'm going to just flatten it back down Take out that curl and flip it over and do it on the other side. So you can see it's flat over here. It's not curled up, not fight, having a fight with it. Um, 40 by 50, yeah, I, I, the colors, the number of colors. It is square, by the way. Um, a lot of the time you can tell that it's gonna be, it's a square when it has this cover on it the opaque cover, but there is the exception when you get a um, round, which I have a small round full drill that has this opaque cover. I was really shocked that it came that way, but it does happen sometimes. But nine times out of 10, if you have the opaque cover, it's gonna be a square. And I've never seen a square partial that I, I was told that they are out there, somebody has seen them, but I have yet to find one myself. So if it's a partial, it's gonna be round more than likely. And there's the top portion that is the Apprentice Mickey with the rainbow swirls going around him. Yeah, we'll flatten that back out. Canvas looks good. I don't see wrinkles. I mean, I see wrinkles, but Wrinkles are fine. I mean, because it's still flat. It's just when it gets bubbling that you have to fix it. All right. There we go. All right. There. I had a little bubble under there. That's the one of the things that could happen. I mean, it's not an issue or anything. I just want it perfectly flat. So when you have one big piece, it's easier to get air under there when you're putting it back down. But there we go. It's flat. And it's ready to go into my portfolio until I'm ready to do it. 
And yes, I will be doing a video showing all my work that I have done and incomplete um, in inventory. I will be doing that here soonish. I just have a lot of stuff to go through before I can do that because I still have some packages that have not had the inventory done that I got when I first started buying diamond paintings back last year. Okay, so this canvas is good. I, I like this size 40 by 50. I mean, you can still find frames easy enough for this size and it's a doable, the area is doable to either transport it from here to the living room or to move it out of the way easily if I need to. All right, and here are the drills for it. Let me open the bag real quick. All right, so it has a magical paper, which feels, ugh, it feels damp. I just hope the moisture didn't get into the diamonds. And it has 49 colors. Oh, and it smells really bad. Oh. So the three tens aren't the the most color in this. Um, there's thir there's twelve bags of three ten, but it also it shows that there's twenty bags of eight twenty three, and twenty three bags of nine thirty nine, which is almost black. It's that really really dark blue. So between black and the dark blue, there are thirty five bags. Yay! All right, I am going to do the inventory on this real quick, and then I will. Um, I will fast forward that so you don't have to sit here through all that and I will see you when I'm done. Okay, so a couple things. I have all my diamonds. And now, if you can look at this list here, see all those with marks outside of the column? Those are all the colors where I got extra bags. I received one extra in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 of them. And one of them I got two extra. And that's half the colors. So half of the colors that were in here, they sent extra. So like on this one, where 166, it requires 197. So one bag is required, but you know when it's that close to 200, you're probably going to run out. So they actually gave me two bags, which is really good, a really good policy, I think. And so that's a real big plus for me on, on these drills. Um, this entire stack here is colors that had additionals. So that was awesome. And all these were just, a lot of them were just single bags too, because there's a lot of just one, one color. Like some of these only have like 10. This needs 22, that needs 10, 24, 78, 22, 55, 62, so 31. There's a lot of them. Okay, now this is something you may come across. Um, one, at one point I said, oh, just look to see which side that the crease is on. And that not necessarily true because I have found it that the crease could be on either side when they print these. So, if you look here, 
depending on the size of the cre side of the crease, that's the same number, but they're different colors. And I do have a 966 and I have a 996. Um, and they both only have one bag. So there's a couple of things that you can do. Now see the color of the symbol here. The background color is basically the color it, as close to the color as can be on paper as to what the drill is, the drills are. So 996, see that music symbol there? Right, number 39, that's a blue color. So I'm going to go with that being the blue one. And then 966 is this light green, number 35. So that's going to be that color. I'm, there's also the safest way to do it is to pull out your DMC color card and look up that color number. Now these aren't in numerical order, so I'm just going to have to look in here to see where they're at. Um, 966 is on column 9. And 996 is on column 6, so 9 and 6. They're over here. So 9 is the greenish color. Nine six six. So this one's nine six six, and this one is going to be nine nine six. And is that what I is that what I figured? Nine nine six is the blue one. Yep, and nine six six is the green one. So you can, if you don't have a color chart and you don't have one on the way, this would be a bet you could probably win. But to be for sure, for sure, you, you would need to either have one of these charts or have um, other diamonds with those colors, leftovers, or from another pack or something to compare it to. But luckily this was an easy enough um, thing. I'm going to just set these right here so that I will... Uh, no, actually, because I need to put these away so I can do my other painting, I'm going to put a little up arrow on here so I know which number it is. There we go. All right. So that's it for this one. And I'll get that other one down here. Let me stick these in a bag real quick. This is what I'll be doing tonight, is putting them in baggies with my own numbers on them. And um, one of the reasons I do that is because these, the, the paint that they use or whatever for the numbering system on these, it chips away sometimes and it's really hard to read the numbers. And this way it will be that much less I'll have to do when I go to start this one just to prepare it ahead of time. I'm going to stick that in the front so I can read it. And each one of my labels, if you've watched my um, organizing video, it shows these initials will have the initials and then the DMC color number on it. That way I know if, I, if it gets lost or pack gets loose or something, I'll, I'll know that I'll be able to compare that to the code on here and I'll know that it's this painting. Because I don't keep my um, diamonds with my canvases. All right. I'll set that there. And next is the other painting. Oh, goodness. So that first one, um, a recap on it, the flag one, I mean the Magical Mickey, 
Um, that one cost me $11.61 and it was a 40 by 50. It took 19 days to get here and it came from the Logan store on AliExpress. And so far so good with this store. I'm, I'm actually pretty impressed with, um, the quality and, um, the tools, everything so far has been just an A plus. So this is a smaller one. And this is a 30 by 40. So this is actually, I mean, to me, after all these other ones I have, this one's pretty small. Um, but it's fine. I, I didn't want anything big. I didn't really think that this one needed a lot of detail. I mean, it's Mickey Mouse with a flag. So let's get this flattened out. And look at the canvas. See, this one has going to have a lot of white. Yep, red, white, and blue. And still one piece for the. That's the one. Just that's the one downside that I'm seeing. But look at how clear those symbols are. And oh, it's got purples. I love purples and blues. And pinks. All right. Yeah, this is not always easy keeping this side from curling under while you're working on this side, but manage. You gotta have octopus arms. And the key, look at this key. Oh, I'll show you the key here. Look how big it is. Look how large those numbers are. Really nice. All right, let's get this finish getting it flattened. If you pull too fast, too hard on the canvas when it's one big piece, you chance ripping it. So you just got to be careful with that. And there's Mickey. Patriotic Mickey. All right. Oh yeah, there's a lot of, that's probably, I don't know. It doesn't have a lot of diamonds because it's a smaller painting, but it does have a lot of white because of the face and whatnot. There we go, nice and flat. good size. I mean, this is a, a really manageable size. I was thinking that the 50 by 40 was manageable. This is even more manageable for transferring, transferring from room to room. Okay. Now, and this one cost, um, uh, $7 and 88 cents at Logan's store on AliExpress. And it's a 30 by 40 and it got here in 19 days. It is a square drill. All right, now let's look at these diamonds. Tell you how many colors are. Yeah, there's all the, it's not white, white. It's that cream colored white, three, eight, three, three, six. See, that's, this was, this is exactly what I'm talking about. See how hard it is to read those numbers. That's why I'm going to put them in their own baggies. I think that's three, 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 eight, six, five, three, three, six, five. Yeah, 3865. And that is 45 colors in this one. That's a lot of colors for such a small one, but that's going to be because there's probably, you know, little, little bit bits of color here and there to fill in the shading and whatnot. Okay, I'll be back with you as soon as I'm done checking these off.
everything's here and again I have extra bags for several of them. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven different colors gave me an extra bag. One bag extra. So everything's here. Um, I didn't have any uh, transverse numbers so there's no problem knowing which color is which in this one. But a lot of the paint it's hard to read the numbers on these. Uh, I mean, that could be a one or a four. I'm pretty sure it's four. I got it marked off through. So, uh, yeah, it was a four. But a lot of them are like that. There are um, no three tens. There's only one bag of nine five nine or nine three nine. Sorry. And so the major color in this one is the light. Um, the ears must be made of a bluish color, which I'm, I'm going to say, I'm going to, yeah, say that because there's a lot of blues. Not only is there blue for the flag part, but yeah, surprised, you know, well, I'm not surprised to see yellow because his feet are yellow and his buttons are yellow, but you'd think that there's only like four colors here, red, white, and blue, or five colors, red, white, and blue, black, and yellow. But, nope, with all the shading and everything, that's 45 colors for you. So, that's it for this um, review. I, I will shop with Logan's store again, especially if they're having a sale, because, I mean, these two paintings cost me less than $20, and those are pretty good good size canvases. I mean, a 40 by 50 and a 30 by 40 so 20 bucks. that's awesome, I think. So I'm going to get this up. Feel free to um, ask me any questions you may have, comments, um, like, subscribe, click the bell, all that good stuff. Um, but yes, I will shop at Logan's store again and I will put the links to both of these uh, paintings down below in the description box. Please be sure to click on the show more button because a lot of people miss that there's a lot more to see underneath the description when you click on show more. And also, um, go check out um, the Abstract Crafters page. Um, she puts up a lot of videos as well. She's just getting her, her channel started, but she does a lot of post reviews as well. Um, she's the one that's inspired me to actually start doing post reviews, which, you know, I haven't finished much, so... I haven't had much to post review, but I will be doing that as I finish them up. So have a good evening, everybody, or day, or afternoon, or whatever it is for you right now. I'm going to go put these together, put these away, so that I can file them for another day. Have fun diamond painting, because I know I will. Bye.